It's a January 4th. So I'm with a little, little workout. Kind of starting to see results because on those days where you might come home, you might be tired. So the days I live for. That's what separates good from great. I feel like I have the opportunity in this world to be great. Even starting off making these five minute videos could do a lot for a person. This is just a start. My dreams and aspirations for this world are so big and large that it may scare some. But sing about it now hundred years. No one's gonna know who I am. No one's gonna know who you are. That's a drive you. Maybe where there's a possibility where someone doesn't know who you are, which is a good thing. I don't know, what am I? 16 year old kid from St. Louis, Missouri. Just trying to start doing good things in this world. Try to surround myself with good people. One thing I'm slowly realizing about friends, friends, I'm realizing if there's a will, there's a way. No matter what they got going on, if there's a will, they'll talk to you. If there's a will, there's a way. There's not, there's never too busy, there's never this. If they really care about you, they will make time to talk to you. That's what separates the people. People are gonna be here with you. You're gonna grow old and share your success with them. That's what separates some people that make a make a while. On that guy that uh, drives. Another thing I heard about today is people are trying to water a dead plant. By this I mean like basically, say you got a friend, a friend who is, used to be good friends, you're talking to them, but you want to hang out with them, but you're the only, they're the one that only has to hang out, and they're slowly, slowly fading away. That would be a situation where you're possibly watering a dead plant. By that it's like saying, you got a plant and it's already dead and you keep watering it, you're just wasting your time because it's not going to grow back. That's, the, that's just the way I look at it. I'm just trying to make my existence on this earth be meaningful. And I'm trying to find the love of my life eventually. But it's God's timeline, not Jonathan Stephen Summers' timeline. That's all I gotta realize. And I gotta realize if someone wants to choose between you and someone else, Tell them that she's the other person. You know, you know. I'm just on here. I'm just on here talking. Talking to my Android at 12 a.m. January 4th. It's technically January 5th now, but I'm going to say it's January 4th. Just trying to stick to some discipline in my life. That's what I haven't been inputting in my life is uh, discipline. It's like, look at all these people, successful, they wake up early, they do this, they do that. I want to be that guy that says, oh, I was 16 when I changed my life around. I may have lost my mom, I may have lost my bird. I go, I can say, oh, I have lead poisoning. I come up with all these excuses, but no one cares. No one cares. There's people in these world that you may think care, some people do care. But they can only do so much. So I'm slowly realizing that. I feel like God is putting me to this test of loneliness and being like, how far do I have to make you go before you turn to me? And I feel like I need to make that gap. I need to turn to him, but it's just something holding me back. That's what I need to 